Each project has 64 patterns. Each pattern consists of 64 musical tracks. To move to the Patterns window, we have to, in Zone 4, hold the Window button and select the Pattern tab. As you can see, I have here four pre-created patterns. Several parameters are available for the patterns. First, in Chaining mode, Continue, or Trigger if Continue is unchecked. In Continue mode, we'll get a legato with the next pattern. In trigger mode, the pattern is read in its entirety. Then we have the sync rate that corresponds to the quantization of the pattern trigger. And finally, the tempo can be adjusted by pattern. I currently have four loaded patterns. Each pattern has a sync rate of 1 16th, and each pattern is in continuous mode. In this mode, the patterns are rhythmically chained. It means that the patterns are not re-triggered when you launch a pattern. The playing continues from the current measure and time. Now, I will set the first pattern in trigger mode. We will see that every time I launch this pattern, it always starts from its beginning. This means that, in terms of play, if you trigger asynchronously, you can lose the synchronization. For example, if I choose bar, it means that the next pattern will be played after a measure has elapsed. As you can hear, I press the pad and the pattern begins to play after a measure has elapsed. I select another pattern, wait for the next measure, and the pattern plays. The loop mode of a pattern can be disabled. For example, I turn the loop off on this pattern. And at the end of the measure, the pattern stops. This is because the pattern has a length of two measures. As you can see, it is stopped after the second measure. We will now see the patterns chained. I go to the chaining window. Here, I define the chaining between my patterns. In fact, I set pattern 1 to play 4 measures. And then pattern 4 to play 4 measures. To do this, in the next parameter, I choose pattern 4 and in duration, I select four measures. I do the same for pattern four. I select four measures for duration and pattern one for the next parameter. Let's play it. First measure, second measure, third measure, fourth measure, and it goes to pattern four. Fourth measure, and it then goes to pattern one. The duration parameter can be set in measures or in beats if you push the encoder once. If you push the encoder twice, the range goes to 1 16th, 
and 1 32nd if you press once more. If you push the encoder again, you go back to measure.